Hey folks, I'm your fella Aftab Hada and you are watching Pakistan Podcast. Uh, so there has been a buzz around on social media these days about Afia Siddiqui, but uh, still few know about her and her story. Uh, I myself did not know before that who actually she is and why she detained in the prison of the US. Uh, but anyhow, I'm here with this short video. Uh, you can say it's a, it's a part one or a brief introduction of her. So uh, let's have a, a say on it. Mm, Afia Siddiqui Siddiqui uh, is a Pakistani neuroscientist who gained international attention uh, due to her controversial case. Uh, she was born in Pakistan in 1972 uh, and later moved to the United States for education. Now, Siddiqui earned a PhD in neuroscience from Brandeis University in Massachusetts. Uh, she, she came under the, the, the scrutiny uh, by the U.S. authorities following the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. Um, in, in 2003, uh, she was detained uh, in Pakistan by Pakistani intelligence agencies, uh, suspecting of having connection to Al-Qaeda. Uh, in, in, in 2008, Siddiqui mysteriously disappeared uh, along with her three children and her whereabouts remained unknown for several years. Uh, later, in 2008, she was uh, arrested in Afghanistan by Afghan authorities uh, and handed over uh, to the United States. Uh, she was uh, accused of uh, at attempting to attack U.S. military personnel uh, who were interrogating her at the time of her arrest. Um, and, and Siddiqui was subsequently charged and put on trial in the United States. States. Uh, in 2010, Afia Siddiqui uh, was convicted by a U.S. court on charges of attempting murder and assault of U.S. personnel, um, and she was sentenced to 86 years in federal prison. Um, this case sparked widespread controversy and has been a subject of international attention, with some supporters arguing uh, that, that she is a victim of injustice and others maintaining that she uh, opposed uh, a threat to the U.S. personnel.